Hello, in this instructional video we'll be covering the jaw closure adjustment process for the HDT-04-08 and the HDT-04-10 tools. In your retrofit kit that you would have received, you'll receive the instruction sheet which covers this process, a gauge, and a jam nut that goes on the tool to lock this screw. The tools required will be a wrench to adjust the screw and a wrench to lock the jam nut when your adjustment process is completed. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this tool or this uh, adjustment screw so we can put the jam nut on. So I will back this screw out and thread my jam nut completely onto this screw. Reinstall the adjustment screw. Now I'm going to turn this adjustment screw in just to the point it starts coming through. We want to let a gap because the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check the gauging on this tool. As you can see this tool is adjusted too tight. So what we're going to do is we're going to reset this tool to bring the jaws open so we can start gauging it to the proper dimension. To do this, I'm going to use a set of the dies provided with your tool. Just assemble them in, and you're going to, just like you're crimping a terminal, you're going to close the tool on those dies. What that does is it rebends this part here and opens the jaws to begin the, the adjustment process. Now, some of the tools that you'll see, this gauge will start, will, will go all the way in. In that case, then all you have to do is begin adjusting. If your jaws are too tight, of course, you have to open this back up. Now I'm going to check my gauging again, but to do this, with the tolerance in all these components, what we want to do is we want to make sure that these jaws are at the outmost position as if they were under load. To do this, we're going to use a die set, and we're just going to put light pressure on that as to not damage the die set. This, what this does is it helps move all the components out to their position they would be in. I'm going to check that with the gauge. As you can see, the gauge goes farther than what the instruction sheet requires. Referring to figure 11, we would like that gauge to be at the tangent point of the two mounting holes that are in your jaws and we're below that. So what I will do now is I will begin my adjustment process. That's simply done by turning this screw down till it's against and take small adjustments. I'm going to take and I'm going to adjust this approximately an eighth of a turn and I will redo. Now what you want to do is you want to use your die set once again to put pressure on those jaws to move the components out to their out to their outmost position and as you can see this gauge is going in to the tangent point of those two of the uh, die mounting holes. So this tool is gauging at the proper dimension. So the next step would be is to lock this jam nut. Now be advised, some of these tools will require multiple adjustments on this screw. Um, take small adjustments because as you get closer to this gauge height, that distance changes very quickly. I'm going to hold this adjustment screw with one wrench and I'm going to lock this lock screw with the other, being careful not to move this adjustment screw. And of course at the end of this, of locking that down, you will definitely want to recheck your gauging of the tool. So once again, just put light pressure on that, as you can see it's 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 tight in there. That's moving all the components out and then just checking your gauging once again. And as you can see, the tool has been successfully gauged. And that completes the training video for the HDT-04-08 and HDT-04-10 tools.